Hey guys, Marshmallow Trump here, back with another video, and today we're back on Uganda Knuckles Battle Royale, and today I'm going to be going through the brand new update, and things that this has actually brought for us. So, starters in apparel, which is where you put all your things, you can see at the very top it says character, and it says character 1, but do not buy this, this is why I started with it, don't buy it, because... I bought it for 15 gold and it didn't change me at all. Also, the skins aren't actually character colours now. So as you can see, if you look closely at the Pope hat colours, the glasses colours and all the colours, the skin just actually changes the colour of the clothes. So I chose yellow because that keeps the Pope hat yellow and that's my signature thing. But the thing is, you can buy them coloured now. Well, you could you could already do that. But what's the point in buying things coloured when it will change colour with a skin? If you know what I mean. Uh, I think these might work again. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that adverts are working again. I don't want to watch many adverts, so I won't do it, but yeah. Now, if you look at the bottom right, we've got multiplayer, matches, which is just offline and building. Now if you click premium bases, there's paid for stuff. Fifty dollars pounds or well in well where I am we use pounds. I bet other places well other places will use Euro and Yen. So I don't know what happened, why it still says fifty dollars and twenty five dollars. But you'd think it'd be like a map pack and you get all three, but they're actually just the same one. So that's apparently worth 25. And that's apparently worth 50. 50 quid. You could buy... I don't know, you could... You could buy an entire, like, month's worth of uh, food for that. Or you could buy two brand new games or, like, a special edition for that. Or this so yeah I, I don't like how expensive they are maybe if it was supposed to be four and two fifth like four ninety nine and two forty nine but still uh as you can see we've got a new map which is statue island uk dust's just become dust and that's about that Oh, by the way, on building, if you click new base, you can have an empty world, a random island, pixel world, dust, big island, small town island, beach and turret events. So you can use the other maps, but it's kind of replaced survival for a more make the world instead of survive in the world, which I don't really like. It's like you've replaced our survival. Now, there's also things like Horde Frontline and The Horde and Co-op vs AI Arena 2. Now I don't like these because it's against bots and it doesn't say, it just says like 71 players but there aren't. So that is kind of annoying because you think there's loads of people on it, it'll just be you versus like 64 AI zombies. But no one seems to be playing any Statue Island matches. So let's crank it up to, ah oh, no actually no. Put it back down on 25 and play Statue Island. The brand new map. See if it's any good. So immediately I've spawned next to someone with a sniper. So these, yeah, I forgot to say, the bots online don't have bot names. It's literally bot like 20,100. Twenty two hundred and one thousand nine hundred seventy eight, and then bot zero 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 seven, and things like that. But as you can see, you've got a spawn over here, and then the island leads up to this statue, which is like an evil person in a robe. I'm only saying evil because it's all like darkness 
Then you've got like two side parts to the island, so you've got a main route, and then two side routes. Which if this was online, it would be really useful for these side routes to like hide behind them rocks. Whilst people charge straight down the middle and like crouch behind a rock and then just be like, pow, and then pop back behind. And then just like, pop out again. I can't believe I messed that up. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, it's been ages since I played this. I am trying to pick up all the gold because I need to show you something on the build world as well. But from what I've found, airdrops always land in the ocean. Actually, what amazing time in there. That's one. And I went behind these rocks and there doesn't seem to be anything. So it's not like there's anything in the water of any interest. If it is, well, because it is online, I might do a video where I build up onto that or onto the statue. And see whether it's actually worth doing that. But yeah, it's just kind of weird. This map, I'm not sure if I like it. I mean, I definitely prefer Big Island still. That is by far the best map ever made on this game. And I have started to play the survival uh, island online. Like, the versus version of it, which is quite fun. Well, I did. I Like I said, I haven't played it in ages. So as you saw there, there's adverts again, like I said. I'm not really a fan of that. So if I go on to building and click load. Um, sure, I'll click just play on re. <laughs> I don't even know why I made it. But yeah, oh, there's an enemy boat approaching your base. Also, I guess they do come, but this is a desert where, where the boat's going to come from. But yeah, if you see, you've got things like this here and that there. So if I click the box, it's the item shop. And 250 gold to buy an AKM. But like, like I say, if you click get gold, you can't get it. So, revolver, pistol, crowbar, axe, hammer, adrenaline, pills, bandage, first aid, water, oh no, that's cool, raw potato, raw fish, wood, metal, all your helmets, all your ammo. Yeah, that costs 0.25 of a gold. So, you have to buy four. Fuel, water, machine gun, GKM, other helmets, bazooka, flamer, flamer's cool. Wait, a bazooka costs 2,000 gold. That's not worth. Shotgun, sniper, shotgun shells, rifle, wrench, grapple, cooked foods, mug, salt water mug, drinkable water mug, rope, rod, torch, spear, leaves, palm seed, which I didn't know you could actually get, nails and stone. Oh, enemy paratrooper. But yeah, that, that's all that paid for stuff. But if you click extras, you can disable enemy attacks, uh, change the type of day, bring in more attacks, remove all enemies, and then just get certain things like a wrench or watch videos for certain stuff. But like, if I go down to Bazooka, oh no, it is like 2000, so they, they have to put it down as like the same price but it's different things like super jump and stuff like that but it doesn't seem to work on here because I can't actually see the paratrooper nor can I see the boat and what happens if I grab this flag
Wait, this isn't even a capture the flag map. Okay. Oh, have they fixed the lighting in here? This is a really dark room that was full of med kits. Yeah, it looks as if they fixed the lighting. But apart from this, there isn't really much else in this update. Yeah, they fixed the lighting in here. But it's a bit glitchy when you like look down and move around. Oh, I like the sunset though, that is dank. Oh! The paratroopers here. I'm moving, but it's not moving. This isn't very good. It's not moving. Oh, I'll just do this. It's becoming night very quickly. And then, is that light because it's day? I don't like the repeated wind noise, but anyway, I'll just like quit menu on that because it doesn't really work because it's supposed to be like water and everything. But if I click multiplayer, uh, click the horde with 68 players, no, it's not 68 players. Yeah, my Pope hat's red, but it shouldn't be. It says. Five survivors and sixty zombies. And as you can see in the kill feed on the right, it just says bot and then a big number. But they're not really that tough. They're just the same as a player. And now look, they're all coming for me. Oh, whoopee dee. So, in my opinion, I'm not really a huge fan of this update. I mean, the build mode replaced survival, which survival is actually quite good. But it's got all the survival aspects of it, but with like, paid for. There's a paid for thing and now everything costs loads of gold. Like, it used to be like a bazooka costed 100 gold, which was fine in my opinion. Even if it happened online, I wouldn't mind that. But now it's like worse. Yeah, the prices are worse. They're trying to encourage paid for. Which isn't, as you know, something that I like. I actually find it a bit disgusting. The fact that they do it, doing that now probably shows that the game is probably going to die and they're just trying to get as much as they can before it does die. Which is sad. But um, the map might have a bit of potential. I don't really like how these bots are just numbers and don't have the names. Because I like the names. And also, they're a bit easy. Like, look at this guy, you can't even do out. And all you have to do is, if they get close, is jump sprint. Um, The map... Yeah, like I said, the map could be okay. I mean, online, but it doesn't have any play people actually playing on it. So, <laughs> out of 10, I'd only give this update a 4, really. Replaced a good mode with a not really good one. 
kind of paid for, but, like, not even worthwhile and not even cheap. Because I was wanting, like, 40p weapon skins or something to be added. So I could get it with my free money that I get. But, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of this update, and it's kind of sad. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you wouldn't mind commenting and you do enjoy this game, please comment your thoughts, because I want to see what you guys think of it, because there isn't really much for me to be excited about with this. As soon as I saw a new update, I was like, yes! But then, now I've played it, it's not actually that great. But... Thanks for watching. I appreciate every one of you who came and watched this. Uh, probably a stream either tomorrow, mon well, either tomorrow or probably midweek next week of Respawnable's next trial with the shotguns. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.